Hmm. Sean, Sean. Ah, yes. Ha, ah, didn't you know that today is a very interesting day? We have the eclipse of the sun coming soon. Ooh, eclipse of the sun? Ah, when is it going to happen? It's, go it's going to happen so about now. Oh, okay, okay. And I, I brought my sunglasses, did you? Oh, no, I forgot. Hey, guys, what are you guys doing? Why are you looking up there? The, the, the eclipse of the sun is coming. Ah, oh. But you're wearing your sunglasses and yeah. you're just wearing normal glasses? Yeah, isn't that okay? No, it is not. You what? know that sunglasses are not enough to filter the sun rays. Uh oh. Ah, just for a few minutes of fun, you might damage your eyes forever. Oh no. Ah, but fret not. Ah, look here what I have. My science teacher taught me how to make my own pinhole projector, wow. especially made to use to look at the solar eclipse. Okay, okay. I'm going to use this one. Mm -hmm. quick, 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 quick. One it's for starting you. soon. It's oh, starting it's gonna soon. Start. It's, it's going to start. It's going to start. Okay. start. Uh, we have to... Um, the sun is there, so okay. we need to face oh, that face way, so way. that uh, the sun will go through this pinhole, okay? Okay. All right, now. Okay, okay. okay. Ready, no, ready? It's starting soon. Okay. It's going to start. It's going to start. Gonna start. Huh? Oh. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, it's happening. Ooh. Hey. It's getting smaller. Wow. The dark. Wow. Oh, it's getting darker. Oh, wow, the sun look. is disappearing. Oh, my. Ah. Ooh. Wow. Ah, just like the moon. Sean, do you like it? Wow. Look, it looks like the moon, right? Oh, no. The sun is disappearing. Oh. Oh, wow. This is crazy. Hey. It looks like there's a ring of light there. Oh, my. Oh, what's that? Oh, yeah, just like a ring of light. Ooh. That is so cool. Oh. Ooh. Okay, the ring has gone. Now it's it. Oh, wow. oh that, it's wow. only a few minutes. Yeah, it's over. Hey. Is it over? I just oh, oh, the sun oh. is back up. Wow, that was so nice. It's really fun. Wow. wow, so beautiful. D D T V K P M. Watching level two or Tahap Duel on Didate TV KPM together with me, Sean Steven, as your host. And of course, as you saw earlier, we had our teachers profile presenting to you our teachers for today. We have Mr. Q and Teacher Nina. Hi! Hi. I am super, super excited that you are here. But of course, for those of you watching at home, before we continue, I'd like to remind you to always follow the SOPs in place in our battle against COVID-19 to flatten the curve. Obviously, all three of us are wearing face masks. You gotta wash your hands as often as possible using water and soap. And also on the table we have the hand sanitizer. Could I um, uh, ask you to also use it first with Mr. Q? Sure, sure, sure. Yes, yeah, very very important for us to ensure that our hands are always clean. And over to Teacher Nina. So I'll just okay. come over okay. here. And right. I will oh, thank you so much. And I will do the same as well. So even if you're in public places, we have also have to try to avoid uh, how to say crowded places to also you know try and ensure that everyone stays safe. And before we continue, I'd like to uh, I'd like our teachers to introduce themselves. We're gonna start off first with Mr. Q. Hi everyone. My name is Mr. Quack Chong Yu. You can call me Mr. Q. Uh, I'm from SK Kampung Lindungan, and I've been teaching for ten years now. Wow, thank you so much, Mr. Q. And over to Teacher Nina. Hello, everyone. My name is Nur Halina Binti Abdurrahman, or you can call me Teacher Nina. I'm a science teacher from Sekolah Kebangsaan Putrajaya, Persin 1811. And this year is my 15th year teaching. Wow, all right, all right, all right. So we definitely have uh, wonderful teachers, wonderful, knowledgeable, and so expert teachers for today. And also because earlier at the beginning of the show, we actually saw an eclipse of the sun. Wow! Is that what we're going to learn today? Yes, exactly, Sean. So today we are going to learn about eclipse of the moon and mm -hmm. also eclipse of the sun. There are five learning outcomes that we hope everyone will be able to achieve by the end of the lesson today. 
and we need to learn about the eclipse of the moon, the position of the sun, the earth and the moon and also the properties of light. And also the same thing with eclipse of the sun. And then mm. someone needs to sketch a little bit and last mm. but not least mm -hmm. about what will happen to living things, how they behave during eclipse. All right. Okay, Sean. Yes. So just now from the gimmick, mm -hmm. uh, do, you, do you notice that the, the, the sky got darker, right? Now? Yes, that's right. Yeah. So today, what we're going to learn about is mm -hmm. a lot to do with eclipse. Okay. Uh, I right. remember uh, a few years back, mm -hmm. a few years back while we all, I was in school, mm -hmm. uh, then my teachers and I, uh, we were actually we were actually do, uh, looking at the eclipse of the sun. Okay. Uh, but in order to do that, luckily we had a teacher like Teacher Nina. Mm -hmm. So what happened? We did the same projector kit uh, and then we did not need to injure our eyes. Ah, ah. all right. Yeah, that's okay, Sean, in okay. order for us to really understand about eclipse, mm -hmm. we need to remember a few things that we have learned, science concept we have, we have learned before. Okay. Number one is about the properties of light. Yeah. Light travels in a straight line mm -hmm. and light cannot pass through an opaque object. Okay. Aha. Uh -huh. And then we also have learned about the revol revolution of the Earth around the Sun, mm -hmm. and also how the Moon also revolves around the Earth. Yeah. So when we're talking about eclipse of the Moon, we are going to look at the Moon at night time, right? Ah. Yeah. So what do you think will block um, the sunlight from go uh, from? Uh, from us looking at the moon. Mm. Uh, for that, Sean, can you please you try? Mm -hmm. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we have a few replicas here, okay? okay. Uh -huh. We have the sun. Mm -hmm. Okay, we have the sun, the, sun. Oh, the oh, earth, and the moon. Okay, okay. Yeah. we need Sean to arrange. <laughs> yes. How do you think the, is the arrangement of the sun, the earth, and also the moon during eclipse of the moon? Could okay. you please arrange it? Ah, Maybe I'll okay. come uh, towards yes. the front. Uh, yes, I think yeah, yeah. I'll come towards the front yeah. here. Excuse me. Okay, this okay, is the background. So, oh, this is the background. Uh -huh, okay, okay, so okay, what so I'll do is. This is the sun here. That's right. the sun. Oh, uh, nice. That's the first clue. Okay. Bright. So next, I think uh, because it's an eclipse of the moon, uh -huh. mm -hmm. so I think the clue okay is here. night time. Uh -huh. so yeah, so it's night time, right? Uh -huh. So here the sun goes here, here's the day, over here is the night. So I would assume that the moon is over here. Yeah, okay, let me check if it's in a straight line. Yes, yes. it is, Mr. Q. How many stars should we give Sean? I think we should give him one star at this moment. Wow! <laughs> wow. Thank you so much. Do you, know why, do you know why do you get one star? Why? Because you manage to state the positions of the sun, the Ooh. moon and the earth. Correctly. Correctly. Okay. Thank you so much, Mr. Q and Teacher Nina. And for those of you who want to learn more about the eclipse of the moon, don't go anywhere. We're going to take a short break and be back to you for Level 2 or Tahap 2 on the TV KPM. for a total solar eclipse is 7.5 minutes. And we are back for Level 2 on Direct TV KPM. Together with me, Sean Steven, we also have our teachers, Teacher Nina, as well as Mr. Q. So, what are we waiting for? Let's continue. All right, just now, before the break, we have learned hmm? how the moon, the sun and the uh, Earth the position during eclipse of the moon. Yeah. But Mr. Q, I think you need to explain something. Why does when why does the moon look a little bit reddish when there is eclipse of the moon? It ah. doesn't disappear, but it appears reddish. Yes. Do you know that actually during the eclipse of the moon, mm -hmm. we can't actually uh, we can actually see the moon. It's yeah. not like it's totally pitch black. Okay. Ah, it's actually reddish brown. Oh. Ah, do you know why? Actually, I don't. Uh, it is because mm -hmm. of it is the effect of dispersion and refraction of light when light enters the atmosphere of the Earth. I see. Uh, this is, we can also see this during sunset and sunrise. 
Oh. Uh, that's the reason why during sunset and sunrise you see like the, uh, the sky is a bit reddish mm -hmm. and uh, longer like that. Oh. I see. Okay. 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 All right. Now what I have here in front in front of me here is an orrery. This is a model to show uh, the movements of the Earth and also the Moon uh, that revolves around the Sun. Okay. Um, let's see here. Ah, can you see how the Moon? Look at the Moon now. It is revolving around the earth and at certain point it will be exactly in a straight line wow. uh, so when the moon the earth and also the sun is in a straight line mm -hmm. so then eclipse of the moon or lunar eclipse will happen but i think mr q i think you should show a simulation so that everyone can see clearly how does the eclipse of the moon happen Okay, okay. So everyone look here, everyone at home and also in the studio, Sean. Yes. So this what we have here is actually we have the sun. This light represents the sun and then we have the globe which represents the earth. Okay. And then what I'm holding here is actually the moon. Ah. ah. Right. So what I'm trying to show you, uh, dim the light please. Ah. All right. So, so that means the position again that you mentioned will be the sun, the, sun. the earth and then the moon. Ah. The moon will be here. Ah, ah. all right. Okay. All right. So let's wait for the studio to be dim a little bit. Yeah, because the eclipse is going to happen, right? So ah. think yeah. gradually mm. for so, the lights to slowly dim. <laughs> okay. So remember, mm -hmm. um, eclipse of the moon, we can only see it during night time. So yeah. which part of the Earth is having night time right now? I think it should be this? Yes, that yes. part. <laughs> Not facing the sun. So I have put here uh, a person we here. A, uh -huh. We have a superman here. Yeah. <laughs> ah, all right. Okay. Oh, it looks ah, like the, uh, the okay, light is All right. So what we have here, this is the sun. Okay. Okay. So any th the first property of light is the light cannot pass through an opaque object. Okay. So anything behind the earth is actually shadows. All right. Ah, so as the moon revolves around the Earth, mm -hmm. it moves to 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 to, so it enters the shadow of the Earth. Ah, okay. See, and see. once it is in a straight line, this mm -hmm. is when the uh, eclipse. eclipse of the moon happens. Ah. All right. Ah, do you get that? Then yes. after that, it slowly moves out of the Earth, and ah. then that's the end of the eclipse. Ah. Okay. Okay. Mister Q, how often does it happen? Hmm. This happens actually uh, three times a year. Three times a year. So times if you year. actually miss the first eclipse of the mm -hmm. moon, it's okay. You still have two more chances <laughs> in a year <laughs> to observe the reddish brown moon. Ah, okay. Ah. And how long will it does it take? Okay, it takes about three several hours. Several ah, hours. It takes several hours ah. to. Okay. Uh, so you actually, if let's say it starts at eight, mm -hmm. probably nine o'clock, you still can see the eclipse of the moon. Okay. Ah. Mm. And you mentioned earlier the color is reddish, reddish brown. brown. Wow. It because of like the that. refraction. Okay. Refraction ah. and dispersion of light. Alright, All right. thank you, Mr. Kyo. Okay. Can lights we have up. the lights back again? Mm -hmm. So now what you are going to see is a diagram from your textbook. Okay. okay. Uh, let's look a little bit to the left here. So this is actually taken from your textbook, okay? As you can see here, this is the sun mm -hmm. and this is the earth and the moon. Yeah. So during total eclipse, it will appear reddish brown. All right. And as you can see here, this part, the upper part and the lower part will be partial eclipse. So okay. meaning that uh, people uh, over here might see only partial eclipse. They will not see uh, the reddish brown. Oh. Ah, okay. So, Sean, yes. uh, looking at this and mm -hmm. also with the um, what Mr. Q have told us before, yeah. can you tell us how often does the eclipse of the moon happen? How often does the eclipse of the moon happen? Mm -hmm. What uh, Mr. Q said, I think it happens three times a year three times a year i'm going yep. to hold on to your answer for that okay. what about the duration how long does the eclipse of the moon last duration is several hours several hours mm -hmm. okay let's check the answer is Ooh, it right i hope i get it right yes, yes. you are absolutely right 
congratulations. Good job, Sean. Sean. Yeah. Ah, but I think we are not satisfied. Mr. Q, we have something more for Sean, right? He needs yes, to do yes, something yes. else. Okay, well, but before that, do I get any stars from answering these questions? Hmm, should we give him any stars, Mr. Q? I think we need to finish that. Only we can give you some stars. <laughs> ah, okay, 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 okay. All right, okay. All right. Sean, yes. ah, on so, your right will be a whiteboard for you to... To ah, sketch. I see. So what we, you need to do is you need to sketch. So using the uh, marker pen, okay. I would like you to sketch the position of the moon, mm -hmm. the sun, and the earth. Okay. When the eclipse of the moon happens. All right. All right. So position of the sun, moon, and earth. Uh -huh. So just like what I did yes, earlier. Yes. Just so how I'll we have it. The sun. Yeah. Okay. Maybe I can just put some. Uh... Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. And then the Earth, it has to be in a straight line, right? So the Earth, maybe this. Uh -huh. And then uh, we have the Moon, maybe yeah, slightly smaller. Okay. Ooh okay. Yeah. Hmm, Mr. Q, mm, what I do think, you think? I think he's. I think for for this diagram, uh, for this sketch, uh, is good. But mm -hmm. I think he's lack of something, right? Ah, yes. Oh? Okay, ah. number one for scientific diagrams. We don't need the rays. Oh, we don't you, need the rays? Can, yeah, you okay, can so I'll just remove them. Ah, oh, <laughs> I do it so nicely. Okay, yeah, I don't I need know, the rays. But this is not uh, art. <laughs> class, this is science. Okay. And, okay. Ah, when you so, see diagra uh, the diagram uh, sketched by Sean, mm -hmm. what can you understand? I only see balls. Yes, and actually, the, the, the first ball, what do you think it represents? Ah. Just balls. What are those things? Um, I just like this is the sun, the earth, and the moon. Ah, so you need to link. <laughs> oh, <laughs> okay. I'm so okay. sorry. Wow. But before that, but before that, yeah. Mm -hmm. Look at the sun. The sun is, the sun is actually too small. The sun is too small. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, I should make it bigger. Be yes. Okay. Bigger. Sun is actually. 400 times. 400 <laughs> times? Oh Earth. no, I don't think so. It fits the. Okay, so I'll just, just do it bigger. Slightly yeah. bigger. Ah, okay. okay. Is that good? Wow, yes. <laughs> but, but I still have to label it, right? Yes. Should I put. Okay, so I'll just label it here. Excuse me. Uh -huh. So I'll just write here. So while as... Sean is labeling, remember everyone, for scientific diagrams, you must remember to always label your diagrams. Without labels, it means almost nothing. You, like just now, we only see circles. It doesn't mean anything. Okay, I think I spelled it correctly. Yes, yes. you did. <laughs> Yay! So Sorry. did I get it right this yes. time? Yes. Exactly. Yes. Yay. So, so now you that, deserve some stars. Yes. How many, Mr. Q? Okay, this time we'll give you three stars. Wow! Three stars, stars for me. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so okay. much. Do you know why do you get three stars? Oh, actually, that's a good question. Ah, because mm -hmm. you managed to sketch the sun, the moon, and the earth, okay. which is with its position correctly. Okay. And then you also managed to label the sun, the moon, moon and the earth correctly ah. with the proper size. Okay. One more thing that I've done is that I've made I've made the distance between the sun and the earth a bit more further oh, as compared to the earth and the moon. Oh. Can I get another star? <laughs> trying to get more stars. Yes, I think you deserve it. Yes. Okay, so I'll give you a four. Yeah! That's so what Sean told you just now is really right. That is yeah. correct. The distance between the Earth and the Moon should be closer. Mm. Okay. And the distance uh, from the Sun and the Earth should be uh, a little bit further away, farther away. Sean, ah. yes. I have another question for you. Mm -hmm. From just from the explanation that we just gave just now. Yeah. So I want to ask you, why is the Moon reddish brown? Ah. During the eclipse of the moon. Let's see if Sean really okay, remember. Okay, let me try to remember because this has also something to do with the sunrise and sunset. Mm -hmm. It has to do with the refraction and also the reflection of the light from the sun towards the moon that is reflect, refracted and reflected back to Earth. Mm, not exactly, you just oh, got no. it half correct. <laughs> okay, half <laughs> correct, so I get half, half a star. Yes, <laughs> half a star. So actually it's because... Give back stars. Yes. <laughs> so everyone at home and Sean, please mm -hmm. pay close attention, okay? So it is because of the effect of dispersion and refraction of light that enters the Earth's atmosphere. atmosphere. Ah, dispersion ah. and refraction. Yes. I see. Okay. okay, Sean, I have another question for you. All right, ah. yeah. Okay. When you see the position of the Moon and the Earth during mm -hmm. the eclipse of the Moon, mm -hmm. 
it kind of reminds you back of the faces of the moon. Yes, that's ah, right. What face of the moon is that? So, if I'm not mistaken here, since the moon is over on this side, it should actually be in the face of the full moon. Yes, you are absolutely Yay. right. Amazing answer, mm. Sean. But full I actually, moon. I actually have a question, right? Because <laughs> it's... It, why is it a eclipse of the moon when it should also be a full moon? Is it the two same things? Ah. Oh, are these two the same? Let me explain. All that. right. Okay, this is because full moon actually happens every month. Yes. Every 28 days you see a full moon, but mm -hmm. it, it doesn't align properly. Okay. Ah, so this eclipse of the moon only happens when the sun, the earth and the moon are in a straight line. I see. Ah. Because of um, the the moon itself, it, 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 yeah, it revolves all... around the oh. Earth on, on a different orbit, yeah, right? Yes. Orbit it doesn't go still... straight like that. It has yeah. like a tilted like, kind of yes. it's tilted, tilted, tilted a bit, orbit, right? Five degree tilted. I ah. see. All right. So that's why only uh, the eclipse of the moon only happens three times a year. Something new I learn every day. But if you want to know more, right after this, we'll be talking about the eclipse of the sun. Don't go anywhere because we're going to find out about that right after this here on Level 2 on Delete TV KPM. to look directly at the moon during a lunar eclipse because the moon is not giving off its own light. And we are back for level 2 on Direct TV KPM together with me, Sean Steven and also our two wonderful teachers, Teacher Nina as well as Mr. Q. So earlier we learned about the eclipse of the moon, now we're going to move on to the eclipse of the sun. Here we go. Okay, thank you, Sean. So just now we learned about, as you say, we learned about eclipse of the moon, correct? Yeah. So now we are going to talk about eclipse of the sun. Yay. So first of all, what do you think, uh, where do you think eclipse of the sun happens? In the morning or night? I would say during the day or, you know, yeah, during the day itself. Yes, it's ha it happens during the day. Yeah. Good. Okay, so eclipse of the sun is actually because um, the the moon mm -hmm. blocks the light of the sun from entering the earth. Ah, ah, so okay. what we see is actually the shadow of the moon. Okay. So oh. in other words, the moon mm -hmm. is in between the sun can, and the earth. Can you repeat oh. that again, Mr. Q? Ah, let me repeat it again. Uh -huh. ah. okay, the moon is in between the sun and the earth. Okay. Okay, taking right. the cue from Mr. Q, Sean, mm -hmm. what we need you to do now is to arrange again <laughs> the position of the sun, the okay. earth, and also the moon. All right. Okay. Let's see whether my friends at home can also <laughs> guess. Let's see whether your guess is right as well. Okay. So, again, I'm coming forward. Try. The sun is over here. Mm -hmm. The moon blocks the light from the sun. So, I'm just going to place the earth first over okay. here. Okay, very good. So, that would indicate or mean that the moon is in between the sun and the earth. Again, in a straight line. Is yes. that correct? Yes. So in a yes. straight line. Yes, you Yay. are right, Sean. Good job. <laughs> Okay, now Sean has demonstrated to us the position, the correct position of the sun, the moon and the earth during solar eclipse or eclipse of the sun. Yeah. Okay, again here I'm going to show using the orrery, okay? Mm -hmm. Again, so as you can see here, the moon revolves around the earth and now when it is ah, right in the middle between the sun and the earth, so this is when solar eclipse or eclipse of the sun happens. Okay, to show you a simulation, hit it, Mr. Q. All right, okay. So, as usual, we have the sun, mm -hmm. we have the earth, and we have the moon here. Okay. Ah, so, so, I think I'm we need to dim the studio? Yes, we got to dim the light of the studio, and I want to show you how this works. All right. Okay, okay. Uh, okay. I think uh, Superman wants to see uh, the eclipse of the okay, sun. Okay, let's can move. Turn it. Uh, 
Ching, ching, ah, ching, ching, ching. Okay. All right. Okay. So Superman is actually residing in Malaysia. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's his secret. <laughs> secret Don't tell us the secret. That's <laughs> a secret. Okay. All right. He says he's actually standing here. <laughs> ah. <laughs> my. Okay. So, so this is the sun. So yep. this is the moon. Okay. okay. So what happens is the moon revolves around the earth. Yes. Yes. Correct. Okay. So as the moon revolves around the earth Ooh. slowly but surely, it will come to a straight line. Ah. Uh, it, it comes in between the sun and the earth in mm -hmm. a straight line. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. At this point of time, at this point of time, the eclipse of the sun happens. Ah. Ah. And after for a while, just for a several minutes, just mm -hmm. for several minutes, you move out of the shadow. Uh, the moon will move out from the uh, sunlight, sunlight mm -hmm. and it's daytime again. I see. Mm. So it's only several minutes. Yes. Yeah. Ah, the whole right. Malaysia will be dark. Wow. Uh, not only in Selangor, mm -hmm. uh, Sabah Sarawak, Johor, okay. Terengganu Because and everywhere. Malaysia is such a small country, yeah. mm -hmm. so we can, uh, when um, the total eclipse happens, mm -hmm. if, if it so happens that the moon is actually in um, at the right orbit, just above Malaysia. Yeah. Uh, so we will observe that total eclipse. Ah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. There's a few facts that you need to know about the solar eclipse. All right. Okay. First of all, the solar eclipse happens during a new moon phase. Okay. Moon new moon phase. phase huh? As if you remember, uh, new moon is always closest to the sun. Mm. Ah. Yes. Ah. Correct. And then full moon will be at the back. Mm -hmm. Correct. Okay. Yeah. So it happens during a new moon phase. And it happens twice a year, at least twice a year. Oh. Ah, okay. But remember, it doesn't always happen in our country. Sometimes yeah. it might happen in other countries. It just so happen when that is the moment when the moon, the earth, and also the sun is in a straight line. Ah, okay. Ah. Yes. Right. Okay. And it happens for only several minutes, a few minutes only. Okay. Uh, Can okay. you remember that, Sean? Because I'm going to ask you. Yes. Oh, no. I should have paid more attention. Okay, okay. Sure, Let me sure. try and remember. Okay, I think right. I there's one more yeah. thing you need to know mm -hmm. is um, there's this term called Corona. Huh? Corona? Uh -huh. You mean like the virus? No, no, no. no. <laughs> it's not like the virus. What it's is Corona, Mr. Corona Q? is actually the outer layer of the sun. Mm -hmm. uh, uh -huh. that's, that's, the bring, uh, that's why you see the ring of light. Ah. I see. When the moon covers the sun, mm -hmm. but the moon is a little bit smaller than the sun ah. from our view. Let of, me show okay. you. Okay, ah, that ah. is. So this is actually. Okay. okay. So when a solar eclipse happen, mm -hmm. do you see the ring of light, everyone? Yeah. Okay. Ah. So this ring of light is mm -hmm. actually the. Corona. It's actually, also we can see just behind you, Mr. Q, ah, there's a yes. screen over ah, here. Yeah. Yes, exactly. Wow. Okay. So this we, is called the Corona. Yes, mm. we ah. know that the sun is actually so much bigger than the moon. Mm -hmm. But why is that the moon is almost like the same size like the sun? Huh. Why is that, Sean? Why do you think? I would say because of the position. Mm -hmm. Of uh, where the sun is and where the moon is, yes. so it has to do with uh, like like shadow the, and also the dis the distance itself. Yeah, yeah because the distance. okay. Let's see, how tall are you, Sean, right now? I'm about 170 centimeters. Okay, 170, and my thumb is like only five centimeters. But yeah. with my thumb, I can cover the whole of Sean. Hey, don't cover ah. me. <laughs> <laughs> so it's it's a matter of um, perspective I see. because the uh -huh. moon is nearer to us, so yeah. it looks bigger. And yes. the sun is further away, so it looks like the same size of the moon. Alright. Ah, yeah. Okay. Did you now, know, we yes. have actually a very important question we need to mm -hmm. ask Sean. Yep. Why do you think the sun, uh, eclipse of the sun happens for a short period of time, but ah, yeah. the eclipse of the moon happens for several, several hours? hours. Um, is it also has to do with the distance itself? Mm -mm -mm. No. Several minutes. Okay, it's actually like that. It's because mm -hmm. This is the size of the moon. Yeah. Okay, the size of the moon is smaller mm -hmm. compared to the size of the earth. Yeah. So the shadow of the moon is of course smaller compared to the earth. Oh. So that is why. Uh, it takes only a short period of time for it to move away. I see. Uh, whereas you see this is larger. This is a bigger uh, circumference, uh, bigger yeah. diameter of the mm -hmm. earth. Mm -hmm. So it takes a long oh, time yes. for the moon for to, to finish. To, to go away cycle. from the shadow. Yes, yes. Yes, yes. Okay, if you look here, this mm -hmm. is a diagram from your textbook again mm -hmm. about the eclipse of the sun. So you can see here, total eclipse only happened at this part. 
Okay. okay. When the moon totally blocks the sunlight from reaching the Earth. Yes. So uh, just a little bit here, upper part and lower part, it will be partial eclipse where okay. the sun will be covered only like a little bit of the moon. Mm -hmm. So some like almost covered but not really covered. Lah. Okay, ah. so you won't, won't be able to see the total eclipse yes, there. Yes, uh, a few ah. places on Earth. So Sean, yes. can you please repeat? How often does this eclipse of the sun happen in a year? I would say, based on what I remember, it would be <laughs> twice a year. Twice a year. And, and the duration? Several minutes. Several minutes, yes. let's see. Oh. I think we got it right. I think so too. Ooh, yay! yay! It lasted only a few minutes and it happens twice a year. That's correct, Sean. Yay, how many stars do I get? Uh, uh, no, oh, no. Yeah. Oh, yeah, no, yeah. I forgot. I'm not done <laughs> You have yet. one more thing to do. As okay. Just like before, you need to sketch, Sean. Okay. Because this is a really important step or skill mm -hmm. for all of us who learn science. You need to know how to sketch science diagram correctly. Okay, Sean, hit so it. So please. All right, so here, just below for the eclipse of the sun again, Sun is nice and big. Mm -hmm. Nice. Okay. And then we have um, uh -huh. maybe I can uh, do the Earth over here, or maybe just at the same position mm -hmm. here. The Earth. Okay. Okay. And then the Moon. Where is see Where is in the straight line? There we go. Oh, uh -uh. I almost uh -huh. forgot. I would <laughs> okay. need some space uh, to label as you and. <laughs> Um, M O O N N E A R T H. Yes, so this is correct. I think. Yes, good job, Clark Kent. Oh, I mean Sean Stephen. Who's <laughs> <laughs> <is> Clark Kent? <laughs> Remember Superman in Malaysia? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so ah, uh, Sean's sketch is right. It yeah. is correct. The position mm -hmm. it's in a straight line, yep. and also the moon is in between the sun and the earth. Okay, yes. one bonus question for you, Sean. Oh, can you state the properties of light? Aha. Ah, that, that is related to eclipse. So the property of light cannot pass through um, opaque objects, mm -hmm. and it moves in all directions. Oh, uh -uh. Huh? oh no! Okay, <laughs> so I got the first one correct, and um, it moves in a it moves in a straight line. Yes, it moves light in a straight moves line. In a straight line. Okay. <laughs> okay. So, Sean, what happens when light hits an opaque object? So it cannot uh, pass through. So cannot pass through. So uh -huh. shadow will be created. Yes, you are right. Yay. Good job, Sean. Okay, I have another question for you. Oh, All right. Okay. What is Corona? Oh, what is Corona? Corona is that ring of light mm -hmm. that appears around the shadow of the moon. Mm -hmm. I mean, just that ring of light that mm. appears during the during the total e eclipse of the of the. Sun. Yes. yes. Okay. So we don't see it during the eclipse of the moon. No, only we don't. during the eclipse of the sun. Ah, oh. all right. So right. you see, there's a difference between eclipse of the moon and the sun. When mm -hmm. eclipse of the moon, we can still see the moon, but it changes color. It becomes. Yeah. Some people call it bloody moon because it appears red. Uh, but during eclipse of the sun, the mm -hmm. sun totally disappears, and yeah. we can only see the corona. Okay, yes. I have a final question for you. Okay, mm -hmm. yes. just so I really explain mm -hmm. why it takes longer uh, hours, uh, longer mm -hmm. duration mm -hmm. for eclipse of the moon to happen. Yes. Can you explain to me again why is it so? A longer duration? Why, uh -huh. why eclipse of the moon takes a longer duration compared to eclipse, eclipse of, the of the sun? Okay, because of the size of that object that's in between uh, or just in front of the sun. Yeah. So for example, the Earth is has a larger size as compared to the moon, so the shadow is larger, taking a longer time for the moon to come out from the yes. shadow. Woo! Ooh, yay. And that's why Correct. It's, okay. uh, it takes a longer duration. Okay, yeah. I'll give you four stars for that. Four stars! Yay! Thank you so Perfect. much, Perfect. Uh, Mr. Q and Teacher Nina. And before we continue with our lesson, we're going to take a short break and be back to you for Level 2 on Did it TV KPM.
local temperatures often drop by 20 degrees Fahrenheit or more during a total eclipse of the sun. <laughs> okay, 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 calm down, calm down. <laughs> oh, calm down, calm down. Okay. Hello everyone, you are now watching level two on the TV KPM together with me, Sean Steven, also Mr. Q as well as Teacher Nina. Earlier we just learned about the eclipse of the sun and just before that we learned about the eclipse of the moon. So what are we going to do now? Okay, now we are going to listen to Mr. Q and also maybe Sean. Mm? What are the behaviors or what will happen to living things during eclipse? Okay. okay, so now we are going to learn about the effects of the eclipse phenomena to the living things on Earth. Okay. okay, so I have a few examples here. The first one would be the spider. Spiders? Okay. So mm. spider during the solar eclipse. Yeah. Um, during the solar eclipse, the spiders uh, will break down their webs. Okay. Oh. That means in the morning, they'll, it's like they go to work, you know, they yeah. to go to work, they spin the web, mm -hmm. they spin the web and then ready for to find their meals, right? Not? Mm -hmm. Yeah, during the solar eclipse, when the sky suddenly turns pitch black, mm -hmm. so what happens? It will, it will break down its web. Oh. So you take down all its web and keep oh. it. Okay. Oh. Uh, all right. And after the solar eclipse passed, mm -hmm. it will come back, uh, it will uh, Build again. Yeah, rebuild the web again. Oh, I see. such a waste. Yes. Oh, because no. it keeps on the sun like we just learned. Mm -hmm. It only happens for a few minutes. Ah, <laughs> okay, okay. So it thought it's actually night time. Yes. Yeah. It oh. is much worse for the hippo. Okay. Uh, why? why? Because the hippo mm -hmm. actually has, uh, during the solar eclipse, the hippo actually has to move out from its water. Oh. Okay, so during because, the day, it, it cools down or, yeah, or hangs is, out in the water. Yes, yeah. that is his favorite spot. Lah. Okay. It always immerse itself in water. Mm -hmm. Okay, but when the solar eclipse happens, you're like, oh, okay, it's time to go back home. Okay. Ah. It's enough fun for the day. I'm going to find some food and keep myself full and all that. Mm -hmm. So you carry his big, huge body. To, <laughs> okay. Oh. Boom, boom, boom. Then halfway through. Uh -huh. After a few minutes? Yes, after a few minutes, you're like, hey, the sun is back up. <laughs> okay. So he will feel angry. Oh no. And grumpy. Grumpy. Oh, oh, grumpy oh. hippo. It's not a good hippo. Not again. Yes. And he will go back. Go back into the mud area. <laughs> yes. Do you know that even crocodiles are actually afraid of hippos? Oh, oh really? Yeah. So you don't want a grumpy hippo. <laughs> Sean, oh. don't be a grumpy hippo. Okay, okay I'll try not to. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and last of all, we are yeah. actually, uh, not last of all, actually, there are a lot of animals, but mm -hmm. these are just a few that uh, I, I chose to share with you all. Okay? okay, one more is about the birds. Mm -hmm. During the solar eclipse as well, mm -hmm. the, the birds will flock together. Yeah. They'll flock uh, back to their nest mm -hmm. uh, because uh, they thought it's, it's really night time. Oh. Uh, oh, they'll be chirping yeah. a lot like the, uh, in, the, in the evening, right? Okay. Like, yeah. Like, beep, 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 complaining. Mm -hmm. Like, hey, why is it so fast? It's so dark. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't okay. got food for my, kid, for my kids. So I for see. animals, they, are, they seem to be confused during eclipse yeah. of the sun. Yeah, yeah, it looks like it. Because they think it's night, but it's only for a short period of time. Yeah. And then the sun comes back up. Mm. Like, hey, what happened? I'm a grumpy hippo. <laughs> <laughs> so actually, there are many more examples of animals, how they behave during eclipse of the sun and also the moon. Maybe you can find more answers from Sumbaku. That's a very good site for you to get more information. Okay, now Sean. Yes. What would you do during the solar eclipse? Oh, because the solar eclipse only happens, like you said, uh, at least twice. No, wait, uh, about three. No, wait, about at least twice a year. Uh -huh. And for several minutes, I'll probably invite my friends to like have a picnic. I was like, of course, because of uh, well, we have to follow our SOPs in place. Okay. But to come and witness yeah. this. Um, Beauty of, of nature. Sorry? Yeah, beauty of beauty nature. Beauty of Beauty of nature and also to look at the uh, eclipse of the sun itself. Ah, mm. okay. Yeah. That's Don't so forget to use the projector kit, yeah? Ah, oh, yes, do definitely. Do not look at the sun directly. Even though it's solar eclipse, mm -hmm. It is still dangerous. Yes, yeah, so there's a difference between us humans and, uh, and the animals where they get confused, but we get excited about it. <laughs> yes. 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 And okay. before we end, could you also give us a, a recap or a, a, a conclusion towards oh, our lesson today? Oh, I think we can make a conclusion for uh, Sean. Oh yes. Okay. Since Sean have uh, already stated all uh, the position, the correct position of the sun, the mm -hmm. earth, and the moon during eclipse of the moon mm -hmm. and also eclipse of the sun, and he sketched correctly for both and also he shared just now what humans would do and he has listened to Mr. Q what animals do during 
Eclipse. So I think he deserves how many stars? Five stars. Yes. Five, five stars. stars. <laughs> My mom will be proud of me. I'm sure she will. <laughs> yeah. Alright, and for those of uh, my friends or whoever is watching right now, if they would like to get more uh, exercises or to enhance their understanding, from where can they get it from? Of oh, course, from... We can get it from Sumbaku. Sumbaku. Ah, that's right. All and right. Uh, that's where you can actually see... Yeah, that's right, Mr. Q. You can actually find the, uh, what is it called, the link the sheets, uh, yeah. to Sumbaku for you to get more uh, info and also more exercises based on our lesson today. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And before we end, maybe uh, we can have some final words from Mr. Q as well as uh, Teacher Nina. Ah, oh, do you know that 19th November, we're going to have a partial eclipse of the moon. Let's wait for that. Ooh. Oh, I can't wait for that too. Yeah. Okay. Yes. All right. So, mm -hmm. what do we have here? Oh, we have some of the, ah. some, some special creatures okay. actually here. Okay, yes. So. To end our show, we will have a bout. Yeah. Oh. yeah okay. Why is yours so grumpy? <laughs> uh, mine because it, because it's of the yeah, because of the eclipse of the sun, so it's a bit. <laughs> so mine's a bit cuter, right? Yeah, okay, that's kids, right. What we will witness uh, just a little bit later. These creatures are going to show how they will behave during the eclipse <laughs> of the sun. Okay. That's right. And thank you so much for watching. Till then, stay safe and see you then. Bye. Bye. Okay, now let's have a fight between these animals. What would you do? Okay, do Pikachu, I choose you. Oh, you choose Kong. Uh, okay, Hi, Pikachu I... versus Kong. Lightning oh, bolt. Uh, okay, dim the light. Dim the light. Dim the light. <laughs> Okay, King Kong, we're gonna do this. This is we're gonna talk about strategy. <laughs> da, 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 da. Okay. okay, what strategy? Oh, what strategy? Okay. okay. I'm gonna call I my will friend give. here too. <laughs> I will. Oh no, you got a friend. <laughs> well, okay. I got three <laughs> friends <laughs> with three oh, heads. That's not fair. You have three heads. <laughs> and it's like, and he's gonna pick me up, and now oh, I become. Okay. <laughs> Looks like yeah. the solar eclipse is not happening soon. <laughs> I need to run away, so I can please come. Oh no, it's too scary, it's too scary. Okay, Ooh, okay. So suddenly it becomes dark because oh. the sun light is blocked by the moon during solar eclipse. Oh no, I have to go and get some food for dinner. Uh -huh. oh, I think I have to... Oh. <laughs> I am super hungry. This is not your meal, okay? <laughs> So during solar eclipse, everyone will go back home. Ah. Come on, Kika. Bye. 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 Bye.